Bye guys, you too. See ya. Bye. Thanks for having us. Welcome to Latvia, darling. How good is this? And it's snowing. Yeah. And it's cold. That part's not, not so good. Our apartment is in this building. And look how pretty it is just outside. It's all snowy. I'm really liking Latvia. So last night we took the five hour bus from Tallinn to Riga. Uh, I'm not sure that I would ever take the bus again because five hours on a bus is just, I, ne I very nearly threw up on the bus and last night. There's no night. toilet on the bus. And they yeah. stop once and it's like for four minutes. I'd probably pay the extra just to get a direct flight to Tallinn next time. So the thing to eat in Riga from our research or in Latvia in general um, is pilmeni. How many are basically like pierogi, really. They're dumplings, Latvian dumplings. They were excellent, and we had quite a bit to eat, and that was only 14 euros, so it's definitely milk bar prices. We used to be so good together, clean body and clad, hear that kind of vibe. What's it like? Is it mm. like back? Is it black pudding? Mm. Is it? No, it's just bread. I am actually having a Latvian like tasting plate full of Latvian traditional Latvian dishes, and the first one is going to be Baltic herring with potatoes and cork, which is a sort of kind of like cottage cheese. We actually tried a similar dish in Tallinn, which I really enjoyed. It wasn't actually my dish, it was Molly's, but I'm really keen to see what it's like here. This looks really fresh. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. It's not like the one in Tallinn at all because that one was like was mixed in with other things. This one is just fresh. I love it. <laughs> it's really, really good. My next dish is black peas with smoked bacon and fried onion, and it's served with buttermilk. Mm. Mm. That's pretty good. And now? Mm -hmm. This is buttermilk. I'm glad that she told me I had to drink it because I was thinking that it needed to be in there, like mix the tea. I like it, kind of like a yogurt drink, like kefir or something like that. It's good. The third dish is homemade fish cake with mustard and mashed potatoes. Mm. That's really good. That mustard sauce is amazing. This tasting plate also comes with bread soup with whipped cream, nuts, and dried fruit. This, believe it or not, is bread soup. Like she said, that the brown stuff is actually bread. And it's a very typical Latvian dessert. Do you want to try it, Rob? That is delightful. Really? Does it taste like bread? Nope. Oh, it's just sweet? Yeah. It's hard to describe what it is. It's almost like a liquid fruitcake. Fruitcake? Try it, see what you think. No wonder you like it. So where did you get, Rob? Well, I've got a soup with ham and black peas, I think it is. Abra. 
the Emperor. Oh. Does that not look good? Yeah. Oh my. It's an interesting bread. Here, have a camera set. Let's smell. <laughs> That's video sniffing. Smell of vision. Smell of vision. Ooh. Ooh, jiggle it. <laughs> jiggle it, jiggle it, jiggle it. What do you put into with the bread part? Looks great. That bread looks really thick too. This is like a thin Dutch pan ham soup. Oh, okay. That's nice. And then what kind of pelmeni are these? Just meat. Okay, meat dumplings. Mm. Is that better than last night? That is much better than last night. I mean, last night was good, but this is like new level. Juicy, yeah. yeah. It's like really juicy. I love the broth it's in Because that's my dessert that I said I would share. My entree that I would share. Oops. <laughs> I am finishing off the degustation plate with black balsam. Apparently it's something that's really popular in Riga especially. It's like made of secret ingredients. It's alcoholic, but it's funny because I read online that it's supposed to be a hangover cure. It's a popular hangover cure. It's not really a hangover cure if it has alcohol. I think it's more like a hair of the dog kind of thing. And um, it's also used for all sorts of stomach problems. But you can also put it in coffee as like some sort of liqueur. Let's see what it's like. Okay, maybe only Filipinos will understand this, but we have like these plastic balloons that come out of a tube, and they have like a plastic stick, and you wrap it in it, and you blow it into a balloon. It kind of smells. Like that. <laughs> I'll take a courage pill and drink that thing. Good, huh? Oh my god, you have it. <laughs> what? <laughs> the couple on the store are laughing. It's too strong. Don't drink too much. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mine's with Don Benedict. Oh, no wonder I hate it. But more bitter. Mm. I wouldn't say it's a favorite. But Don Benedict, you know, really like it. Yeah, really like it. This is uh, it's the bitter taste. The after taste is bitter. I'll drink it. Are you going to put it in your coffee? Oh god, really? What? You've just ruined your coffee. <laughs> it's not good. I guess you should try it if you're here, but... Yeah. Our two meals came to 44.40 euro. That was including my degustation uh, kind of platter, which cost 26 euro. So it's actually really, really reasonable. So well, well over half of that cost, was it? Yes. <laughs> it was worth it. This is great. <laughs> Highly recommended if you're in Riga. And the service was excellent. And she very diplomatically put the bill between us. Yes. So that gets a, she got a tip. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to join us in our travels.